So today we're going to start doing our actual project. Uh, the project will be around a uh, contact manager. Uh, so there will be a crude involved, connection to the database, managing contacts, uh, authentication, all the things that we, you will normally use on a normal application. Um, so let's get on it. So I've created a new repo here on GitHub. There will be a link in the description about it. Uh, the only thing I've done so far was create the Docker. Uh, the structure is the same one as the, the previous project. I use Docker to run my projects. Uh, I'm not going to explain now uh, how Docker works. Uh, you, you'll be able to run your project on however you feel like it. Uh, is either a, a local um, Apache install or an Nginx install or something like that. So there's there's there will be a video on later on just about Docker and how to install it and how to use it. Uh, I'm using Docker and Docker Compose, but that's not relevant uh, to the tutorial here. So the first thing we're going to do is to actually install Codeigniter. Uh, on our pre previous video, uh, like the first one we did, we did a manual install. So I just went to the website, I downloaded CodeIgniter, put it on the folder, and there we go. But on this one, I'm, I'm going to install CodeIgniter via Composer. And to do that, instead of going into the official website, you go into the, the GitHub uh, CodeIgniter for page. And you have the CodeIgniter for repo, the API, the translations, but this is the one you want, the App Starter. So if you go into the App Starter and you go into the description, you'll see this that this is a, a, a repo that is meant to you to be used with Composer. Uh, what this allows you to do is to have your main files of the framework in a composer um, package. So every time you have uh, a, an update for the framework, it will be a lot easier to update. You just have to run composer update and your framework will be updated. Let's see the structure we have. We have the Docker, the Git folder and the app folder. So let's go into the app folder. And inside your app folder, we're going to uh, create the repo. So there's this little line here that you need to use. And you paste the line here. But I'm going to say that I want to, to install this inside my root folder. My root folder being the app folder at the moment. So if you run this, um, this command... You'll go. This command will go into the GitHub, or in this case, into Packages, and we'll pick up the latest version of um, our um, framework and everything that it needs to run. So if I do an ls now, I have my normal um, folder structure, but I have a vendor folder, and if I go into my vendor folder you'll see that I have now the framework here and everything that it needs, especially the CodeIgniter 4. So every time I have um, to update my framework, if there's an update into the system folder and stuff like that, all I have to do is run composer update. And this will go and update the framework. If there's an update to do, at the moment there's nothing to do. Okay, so we have the, the framework installed now. But we're going to use uh, a lot more stuff um, in this project. We're going to need a, a front-end framework like Bootstrap. Uh, we're going to need um, jQuery for some small stuff. Uh, nothing fancy, but just so I can show you how you handle some Ajax calls and stuff like that. If you go also into your um, uh, Bootstrap page, uh, the framework, and you go into the, um, the documentation and you go into the downloads, you have a, a bunch of ways that you can download the, um, the, the bootstrap framework. What I normally do is I go into my public folder 
and inside my public folder I create uh, uh, I start my my package manager with npm and install bootstrap so you just copy this line here put it there and that's it now if I do an ls I have a node model and if I go into my node models I have bootstrap and if I go into bootstrap you can see that now I have everything that I need from bootstrap okay so that's good now for jQuery let's go into the jQuery website okay and we go into the downloads as well or I think there's a yeah there's the downloads page and you probably have a npm install as well obviously this need to to install the the jQuery like this you will have to to have node installed on your machine I have it if you don't have you can just manually download these files and just go on with it so I do npm install jQuery and now if I go into my node models as you can see now I have a bootstrap folder and a jQuery folder that I can include in my my project how do I start the the, the framework to see if it's, if it's working so let's see so if I go into the root of the project and I go into my docker folder uh, sorry one more into my docker folder and I do a sudo docker compose up build silently and I run this and this will uh, now I have my project running so if I go now into CI4 local I have my CI4 uh, installed then so everything is working as intended the framework is uh, is installed as a composer package so if we have an upgrade in the future that will hold on and we will not don't have any problems with that so on the next um, episode uh, we'll create the database for the contact management and we'll create all the tables and I'll create the tables with you and explain all the tables and all the relationships and stuff like that so if you're enjoying the, the content so far, please consider subscribing and give it a like. And I hope you enjoy this uh, because this will be a long one. I'm planning on having like 10 to 15 uh, episodes on this one. So it will be a long one. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one.